Hi, right, it's time for another math. Easy solution chain rule discuss. So some more examples on the chain rule for derivatives and look at part two of this video series. Basically, I, I proved the chain rule in my early video. Now I'm gonna go over some examples. Basically, before I get to the examples, I wanna quickly recap on the chain rule and basically states if you have a function within a function like this, y equals f of g of x, then the derivative dy over dx is, is just the derivative of f in, ter in terms of g times it by the derivative of g in terms of x right here or written as this y prime equals f prime times g prime where you first take the derivative of um, the outer function and then the inner one right here so these are the examples I'm going to go over this uh, example one and two let's go over example one first and it just states y equals x uh, to the power of three minus one all the power of a hundred right here yeah, so uh, for example one right here, we can take basically uh, this outer power as the outer function and this as the inner function. So we could let this one equal to g and this outer one equal to basically f, uh, f of g right here. This could be f of g of x right here. So then this would just kind of be like y equals 2, uh, this is f, I mean uh, just, just g to the power of 100 right here. So this could be the the outer function, this uh, this entire f or f of g, and then this basically g is just this one right here. So to take a derivative, we take first take the derivative of the outer function, and that would just be using power rule. You can see a video link below on proof of power rule. You just bring down this 100, and then we put in our g, which is x cubed minus one, the power of. Then we subtract one from that 100, so 99. And now we have to, to multiply this by the derivative of g of x, or the inner function, and that's just going to be the derivative of uh, x cubed, using power rules, going to be 3, x squared, derivative of negative 1 is just 0. So this is our answer, we can simplify it further, multiply 3 by 100, we'll get 300 <coughs> x squared, and then x cubed minus 1 to the power of 99 right here. So that, that, that is our answer right here. It's pretty straightforward using the chain rule. And now if we look at example two, this one looks a bit more complicated. Basically it says find a derivative of the f of x equals two, one divided by, uh, this is a, a one over a three, I mean a cube root of x squared plus x plus one right here. So we'll just write that down right here, example two. Yeah, so just write it down right here. But uh, to make this easier for uh, the calculation, I mean, for the derivative, we can simplify this or just rewrite this as just writing it as a power because this just means the exact same thing as uh, this is x squared plus x plus 1 all to the power of negative 1 over 3. The negative is why it's down there, and it's gonna, this just means 1 over 3 right here. So now we can apply the derivative. And now again, this is our inner function. We call this g right here, g of x, and the outer function is basically f of g or another, y of g, whatever, just use a different order than this, this f. But anyways, this would be the outer one, it would be the exact same thing as example one, but now we're dealing with a negative uh, root right here. So basically we could uh, bring this down, so the derivative y prime is equal to negative one over three, and then x squared plus x plus one. Now this one we subtract one, or subtract 3 over 3, this just becomes negative 4 over 3, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside function, that's just going to be 2x, just using power rule in this one, and then plus 1 is derivative of x, and then plus 0 here. So this is basically our answer, I'm just going to stop right here, you can't really simplify it further. Uh, so basically we get this answer. Well anyways, uh, that's all for today, I just wanted to show some examples illustrating the chain rule and hopefully you'll learn from this and like always you can download these exact notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.